Rosie O'Donnell. It's Tuesday, October 6th. And you know what? Today, the new Divas Live CD comes out, and we're giving one to everyone in the audience today. Tuesday, October 6th. I forgot to mention that in the first part of the show, not knowing that it was today, Tuesday, October 6th. For three years, I patiently waited for our first guest and Jimmy Smith to say I do on one of my favorite TV shows, NYPD Blue. Here's the magic moment. Diane Russell and Robert Simone. In as much as you have proclaimed your love for each other and have consented to live in wedlock and have exchanged these vows before witnesses, then by the authority vested in me and in accordance with the laws of the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> but sadly, I fear he's about to die. <laughs> we will find out in just a few moments. Please welcome Kim Delaney. Thank you. Good to see you. You look fabulous. Thanks. You do, too. How's little Jack? Jack is good. He's going to be so upset that I'm doing this today and not tomorrow. Because? Since it's October 6th. Yeah, it is um, October 6th. <laughs> all day, Yes, Kim. all day today. Yeah. Um, he's tomorrow? flying in tonight. Oh, so, he is? Yeah, he's flying in tonight. Be in the but, air in just a few moments. Yes. Yeah. He'll be. <laughs> this being Tuesday and all. Yes. And how old is he now? Um, he's about eight? Eight. He's eight. eight and he and just half. started third grade? Yes. How's he doing? This is a transition, you know. I think right. first and second was a little bit easier. And he's in Montessori, so they kind of put third and fourth together. And right. This is like now, now it's getting down to the work. I understand. You know, so yeah. it's a little bit. My difficult. son just started as well. He's having a little adjustment thing. What grade? He's in um, well, three, four, five. That same kind of a program where they do the three-year-olds, four-year-olds, so and five-year-olds. So the little ones take care. The big ones take care of the younger ones. The younger ones learn from the older ones. Right. It's hard. For it them. is. He doesn't want to talk to anyone who's his age. He wants the bigger guys? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I go, well, why don't you play with that little boy? He's like, because he's a baby. <laughs> like, he's not a baby. He's the same age as you. They like right. the bigger guys. They do. They look up to them. It's fun. Now, um, it's i got to ask you. i got to talk about work. OK. I was reading the New York Post, always full of facts, that oh. newspaper. And very <laughs> accurate they are, aren't they? Oh, yeah. That's an accurate uh, <laughs> publication. Yes. They said that he was going to get a mysterious illness. <clears throat> really? And be written off the show in that way. Wow. An early demise. You, perhaps, wow. a widow. Wow. Kim? Wow. We're your I, I friends didn't, I didn't know he was leaving. He's going. Oh, he yes. Is? Big news. <coughs> you can't tell us, can you? You know what? We were sworn to secrecy. You really were. What do you think like would happen, honestly, if you said... I, they'd cut my hands off. They would? <laughs> would they <laughs> fire you or something? I, I mean, every script we get, there's a huge... Um, Makeup is not getting it. Hair is not getting it. None of the departments are getting scripts. Just the actors. Only the actors involved in those scenes. Oh, really? So yeah. you're not even getting a whole script. You're just getting your scene. Yes. So Has it's there like... been any script scene where he's lying dead and you're crying? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen any script like that? Because no, I don't want you to get in it's trouble. It's going to be really, really great. I mean, actually, it's some of the best television. I mean, it's amazing. The first, you know, six episodes. I mean, the show is always amazing. I think that yeah, you know, David Milch is just brilliant. But these episodes just blow you away. Has I mean, it it's been done sad? with dignity. I mean, not the whether it's or not he, just because he's leaving. I mean, has oh, it been God, sad on the yeah. set and everything? Yeah. I remember David Milch coming up to me when we were doing one of the first scenes. He goes, Kim, remember, this is happening to Diane, not to you. And then I just burst into more tears. He goes, didn't work, huh? No. Like, no. It's hard. It's hard for everybody. And has Ricky Schroeder started yet? Yeah. We just shot. Uh, Yesterday here, and he shot his first scene uh, yesterday. Yeah. And, How'd it uh, go? He starts in show six. It, it, I think he was shell shocked. Yeah. You know, he's gonna be great. I mean, he's 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 lovely and wonderful. And he's very cute, isn't he? And he's very cute. I saw him on Politically Incorrect, and he's a very like well-spoken, handsome mm -hmm. young. And he's a dad, isn't he? He's three kids. He's got three kids. Ricky yeah. Schroeder. Three Ricky kids. Schroeder. Yeah. Three. Yeah, he's a three grown -up. boys. I think they're all boys. Really. But you know, on our show, we all always get the pages last minute, and here that you know, his first day, David, you know, four pages, and he's like, "Oh my God, this is this is like normal." I'm like, uh, "Yeah, kind of." Yeah. Do they tell you or ask you before the season what direction you want your character to go? You have nothing. Absolutely not. Never. <laughs> you don't even get to say. <laughs> Once in a while, you'll have a conversation. There was a time where we talked about, you know, should Russell get pregnant? Should she not get pregnant? You know, that kind of. Right. So they kind of did it and then undid it. Right. Now, so. uh, ever get in real-life cop situations, like as a grown-up, like, 
a ta like a traffic thing and cops look at you and think you're a cop for a minute or I got one ticket in Malibu but I think it was only because I didn't make the right approach I got upset instead of angry upset instead of like pleading upset yeah you know yeah I've been stopped many times on my jet ski in Florida, <laughs> which always surprised me. They recognize me. I have the goggles and a bandana. The last time I was on, you used that jet ski. I got so much flack. They busted me so badly when I got back to NYPD. Really? Because I showed the little clip of you and Greg? Me, the little face, and then driving, and then back to the face, smiling. Thing. Really? <laughs> I wonder how they'll feel about the commercial you did with him for an eczema shaving The first. Oh. Are we going to this now? You in a bad mood? <laughs> I just hate talking in the morning. I'll, I'll let you shave. No, stay. You use Noxema. Yeah, Noxema gives me a great shave. It does something to condition my skin. Mm, it softens it. Huh? I can tell when you kiss me. Your face feels real smooth. Well, I guess it's the moisturizer. I hate talking in the morning, too. I remember that. doing the show together when they approached you for that? Yes, I remember that. God, it's so weird to see that stuff from years ago. It's so weird. That was a big controversy, wow. though, because you guys were like, well, that, yeah. did not, you were acting not married, and it was obviously kind of your first night there, because you were saying, Yeah, oh, and this was like the first alone? time. I remember the big thing about the commercial was, it was the first time, they were, like, all the ad people were in a panic, because it was waking up in the morning and kind of like, how you doing? I don't like talking in the morning. We don't really know each other. We don't know what, you know, was it good for you? You know, all mm. that kind of stuff. And there's no wedding band. So it was the first time that they shot a commercial like that where there wasn't a wedding band on. Huge controversy at the time. Imagine, huh? Scandal. <laughs> Scandalous, yeah. Uh, but it's great to see you. And you're not going to tell us, obviously. <sighs> I. Okay. It's going to be so great. All right, we're, if, are we I gave cry it away, if I gave it away, you would be disappointed because you'd want to see it and experience it for the first time. Let me just tell you something about me. What, baby? But a week before Christmas, I want to know what everyone got me. I don't like <laughs> any surprises. <laughs> I want to know up front. Oh. If someone's going to die in a show, I want to be prepared. October 20th, it premieres. You'll All start. Right. It's going to be so... Which is... Uh, it's on a October 20th is... A couple weeks from October 6th. Where are we? October 6th. So the 13th, we're, we're um, it's two less weeks than two weeks away. From, it's two weeks from today. Yes. It's exactly the day that it can be. October 20th. we got to get used to this. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Give my love to your little boy. I will. We'll be right back with Mandy to take a